All right, uh, I'm going to do 8.16, Rigid Transformations. And this section is going to be really fast. And the questions are really easy, so it shouldn't take you very long. But I want to talk about quick about this transformation. And a, a transformation... in the geometric sense, not quite the Power Ranger sense, means that it's a movement of a geometric figure. And we have three kinds. We have Translations. We have reflections. And we have rotations. And these do not change the shape of the object. That's kind of the big key difference. Do not change the shape. All right, the translations. Um, if you kind of think of it in the old style sense, we're not translating from, you know, Greek to Latin or something like that. Translation means we're simply moving through space or moving something from one place to another. So if I have a shape that looks like this, I can translate it, and then I can put that shape over here. Now, I know they're not perfectly the same, but the idea is that all it does is move. Now, it can also be a combination where I can move it and flip it. And I would probably call that a translation rotation, because that's what we're going to be talking about in just a second. My reflection looks like this if I have a triangle say and then I have a line of reflection and then what I do is I reflect it over that line so it looks like it's in a mirror so notice that the overall area and lengths do not change but the orientation of our shape does flip over so it kind of looks like it's a mirror image of something and it's a little bit different and lastly, we have our rotations. Rotations are simply, if I have a shape like this, sometimes we'll use uh, dots or spots to kind of denote them. And I can just, tr I can have a point of reflection and I'm gonna move it around this direction. So I'm then gonna have my shape here and my dot is gonna be here. Kind of as almost like I, I twisted it and put it, put it kind of lower down than that. And that's pretty much all the things you're going to be doing. It's likely that you've heard these before and it's not going to be a big thing. Um, and be, please only do questions 1 through 8 on this homework. It looks like they accidentally put some of the next section's homework on this homework. And we have not talked about... Um, symmetry yet so i don't want you to do them uh, until we get to the next section it's likely that you already know about it but that's okay aside from that um good luck this one should be easy to knock out in probably five ten minutes good luck